For our next community conversation, we are joined by Andy Pillafont, Director of the Communications for the Paramount Theater. Hey, Steve and Andy. All right, Dryden, thank you. Just announced and now on sale, Met Live in HD, the 2023-24 season. That's right. Um, we're very excited about this, and a lot of folks in town are very excited about this. What's great about the Met is we bring it to Charlottesville. You've got great seats no matter where you are in the theater. Right. There's a lot of extras that come with it, with intermissions, to learn more about the production itself, interview with cast members. Um, the season has been announced, and I've got one of these here with me. You can come by the, the box office and, and pick one of them up. There'll be three new Met premieres this year, four revivals, two brand new productions, and an encore. We do it every uh, holiday season of the Magic Flute. Um, what is also unique about the Met Opera at the Paramount is the uh, pre-opera pre lectures, excuse me. So you can come an hour before, you can learn a little bit more about that production, kind of, you know, get in the zone, get ready, get the information that you need. Um, some of the uh, more, in, not more interesting, I shouldn't say that, some of the ones I'm most interested there in, uh, there's going to be a version of Dead Man Walking. Um, so we know that from a memoir, we know that from a book. Um, and so now we're getting the opera treatment of that. Um, there's another one about Malcolm X, um, which looks very interesting. Um, and then there's a Gabriel Garcia Marquez uh, opera um, influenced by him. So a lot of magical realism happening there. Um, in addition to, you know, the, the Puccini's and the Verdes and some of the things we might be more familiar with with the Met Opera season. Um, so that goes on sale to the general public on Friday. Um, and we had a nice cluster of folks outside the theater ready to get their early advance uh, purchases because they're members of the Paramount. And if you aren't a member of the Paramount, this is another good reason to become one <laughs> if you're an opera fan. All right, let's 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 change kind of the musical theme here. And uh, Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd, so, go. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, on August 9th, we're gonna have a, uh, this is in theaters only, they call them cinematic events. Uh, and this is a new biography about Sid Barrett, who, um, you know, named the band Pink Floyd, was a founding member, wrote a majority of the songs on the first two albums, and then kind of disappeared uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, and so this is kind of an exploration into kind of what happened to Sid Barrett as best as we can tell. There's a lot of mystery surrounding him um, and kind of what his exit was like from the band. Um, so they'll be talking to uh, members of the band, uh, kind of people in his life, in his circle, um, people that knew him kind of before he uh, kind of became a recluse. He was just as famous for being a recluse as he was for being a, a founding member of Pink Floyd. Um, this looks r really interesting, especially if you're a fan of the band. That's on August 9th at 7.30. And then quickly, we have Voctiv. We've talked about that a little bit in September. Yeah, Voctiv is coming up. We just announced that last week, and that's on sale of the general public today. Uh, you've got 11 members. Uh, they have been, uh, they're seven albums in. Um, they've got over 100 million views on YouTube and Facebook. This is an acapella group. You can see them all there. Um, there's nothing to hide behind when you're singing a cappella, so your voice really, really has to shine. And from everything I've heard from these folks, uh, they're a great group. Andy, appreciate it as always. Thank you. You bet, Steve. Dryden.